The second way to solve systems of equations is based on substitution, where y equals 2x minus 1 and y equals 2 thirds x plus 2. Now for the substitution. Because you could say that y equals y, then both equations are equal, or 2x minus 1 equals 2 thirds x plus 2. When we pair these two expressions, we get rid of y and are left with 1x on each side. All of a sudden, it turns into a simple one-variable equation, which we then combine into like terms and solve for x. Solving a rational equation, an equation with fractions, it is easier if we eliminate the fractions and turn them into integers. We do this by multiplying each term of the equation by 3, because the 3 denominator is what makes it a fraction. The 2x becomes 6x. The negative 1 becomes negative 3. Here, very conveniently, the 3 cancels. And the last 2 becomes 6. Subtract 2x from both sides. Add 3 to both sides. Divide both sides by 4. x equals 9 over 4, or 2.25. Now, to find the y value of the equation, go back to either of the two original equations. Substitute the value of x and get the value for y. Multiply the parentheses. Subtract. The exact points where the lines cross is 2.25, 3.5. Any system of equations can be solved by substitution. Another example. Solve the system by substitution. y equals 2x plus 7. y equals 2x plus 4. Because y equals y, substitute. 2x plus 7 equals 2x plus 4. Subtract both sides by 2x and 7. 2x minus 2x equals negative 7 plus 4. 0 is not equal to negative 3. Because 0 is not equal to negative 3, the lines will not meet and there is no solution to the system. The lines are parallel. If the solution had been a true statement, like negative 3 equals negative 3, then all the points of both lines are at the intersection, and both lines are the same, which is a case of identity property. One more example. Solve the system by substitution. 2x minus 3y equals 10. x plus y equals 2. There is no y equals y here. So, to substitute, first solve one of the equations in terms of x or y. Solving for x, the second equation becomes x equals negative y plus 2. Substituting negative y plus 2 for x into the first equation, notice how x in the first equation became negative y plus 2. Doing this gives us an equation without x. Solving for y. 2 times negative y plus 2 minus 3y equals 10. Multiply contents of parentheses by 2. Combine like terms negative 2y and negative 3y. Subtract 4 from both sides. And divide both sides by negative 5 y equals 6 over negative 5, or negative 1.2. Because x equals negative y plus 2, the second equation, and y equals negative 1.2, by substitution, then, x equals negative times negative 1.2 plus 2. Negative times negative is positive. x equals 1.2 plus 2 or x equals 3.2. The solution to the system is point 3.2, negative 1.2.